Hey guys, welcome back to Hobby Plus. My name is Goofy in case you still don't know. Anyway, this month contains a lot of interesting products and nowadays it's uh, getting a bit dangerous to go outside, right? So why not spend your money ordering online stuff instead? Because, um, you know, if you have money already, then you no need to go out, right? <laughs> anyway, stay safe and stay home, guys. Okay, so here are the products uh, announced recently. Like previously, we are using the Singapore dollar with the suggested retail pricing from the respective distributors. Let's go! Now, starting off with a bang. First up, we have ArtFXJ Kyojuro Rengoku. So, Kimetsu no Yaiba fans, listen up. The 1-8 scale of the figurine is currently scheduled for release in November 2021. Well, you see its power seems to be billowing, alive with motion. As well as, you know, you can see there's a lot of care that was put into the fabric for each flame on like his hem. So the base also has like a lot of flames and also the price quite fiery uh, by the way. <laughs> okay, so the price, I'm sure you guys want to know, it's $200 but it comes with a pre-order bonus. So it comes with an extra face part for him and the pre-order will be closing on the 6th of July. So, what are you waiting for? Next up, we have Hatsune Miku meets My Little Pony Bishoujo Statue Series. So, um, in the previous videos, you saw me playing with the... I mean, unboxing the Bishoujo Series My Little Pony. Oh, oh, the Applejack. Yeah, it was Applejack. So, announced recently on the Kotobukiya Facebook page, this item right here is currently just a teaser, but um, it features the ever so popular virtual diva Hatsune Miku. I'm sure you guys would know. So, she's having a... Little Pony Bishoujo series style to make over. The special collaboration will see Shunya Yamashita illustrating Hatsune Miku and a pony resembling her with his take on the Bishoujo version of the two characters. So are you guys looking forward to Miku Pony? So for those Hetalia fans out there, from Hetalia World Stars comes a Nandroid of the tea-loving cynical gentleman UK. So he comes with Three face plates including a standard uh, gentleman smile and a white eye expression even though he's uh, cursing someone. So as optional parts, he comes with a tea set, his fairy friend and a spell book. A special round base with a rose design is also included. So this entry is a uh, number 1621 if you are keeping track of the release number. It's priced at SGD $67, the pre-order closes on the 22nd of June and is expected to be released in December 2021. By the way, if you guys don't know, right, recently Hetalia it came out with the Singapore version. So go check it out, guys. Alright, another Nandroid, Qi Luo Zhou Shade version. I don't know if I pronounced it correctly, I'm sorry if I didn't. Um, but it's from the popular smartphone game, Love and Producer. It comes with him in his shade appearance from the game's West Moon Story. I'm sure they have a lot of costumes and stuff, so this is just one of them. Apart from the hooded design, an alternate hair part in a different colour is also included. Ooh. Optional parts include his knives and a gold fish. This entry is 1,629 if you are also keeping track of the Nandroid release number. It's priced at $92 with the pre-order closing on the 22nd of June as well and it's expected to be released in also December 2021. Alright, next, Arcanadia first PV is released. Kotobukiya updated the backstory for Arcanadia with a release of a new PV on YouTube, so go check it out if you haven't yet. It is set in a not so distant future where a new source of energy has been discovered, powering the world in an era of virtual spaces where the game Arcanadia exists. But something, somehow, always something has to go wrong. And Lumitia, voiced by the most talented Kaida Hondo, is born into the real world. The PV shows the kawaii Lumitia enjoying the many pleasures of life like eating cup noodles and getting a present for her master. So the pre-order of the Lumitia plastic model kit is also announced to have started from the May 28th, uh, priced at SGD $91 and to be released in December 2021. Next up, we have Everoids by Kotobukiya. 
It's also announced on YouTube. Everoid by Kotobukiya is a new plastic model series aimed at a younger audience. With mecha designed by the legendary mechanical designer Kunio Okawara and a new special manga project by Koichi Tokita, who is famous for his Gundam manga series to be serialized in the instructional manual of the model kit. So the announcement video introduced two transforming prototypes and teasers four other designs to be featured in the series. So comments from both Kunio Okawara and Koichi Tokita were also included in the 14-minute video. If you're interested, a five-page preview prologue of the manga has been posted on the project's website. So the first two kits in the series is expected to be released in December of 2021 and I would say it will be perfect as a Christmas present for your kids. Next up, we have SD Gundam World Heroes featuring two new heroes. So more from the series, the latest releases are Benjamin version 2 Gundam and Edward Second V Gundam. If you are a fan of pirate designs or simply fans of SD Gundam, these two are something that you do not want to miss. The duo made their appearance from episode 3 of the animated series and you can watch all this action for free on Gundam Info YouTube channel. They are available for pre-order in retailers around the region or you can also buy it online at apashop.co. <laughs> For you Minecraft fans out there, here is something new. So LEGO just added 5 new LEGO sets based on the game Minecraft and the Minecraft Dungeons Action Adventure game. So with the release, there are going to be new minifigures, gear variants and a translucent creeper. So the releases are the Horse Stable, the Ruined Portal, the Sky Tower, the Modern Treehouse. Uh, this is the one that has the translucent creeper, chicken and kitten minifigure. But it's also the most expensive at around 120 USD. And last but not least, the Jungle Abomination, which is based on the Minecraft Dungeons game. So these sets are rated for age uh, 9 plus and above, but who's stopping you? And are estimated to be priced from USD 1990 to USD $119. And they should all be available now for sale. Okay, next up we have Infinity Studio Bruce Lee Life Size Bus. So Infinity Studio announced a life-size bust of the Kung Fu Master Bruce Lee. So they used platinum silicone for the skin and a custom-made prosthetic for the eyes. The features are made to be extremely lifelike. I, I took a look at myself. I mean, I took a look myself and like, wow, it looks really real. It's quite scary. <laughs> So the pose recreates the iconic scene from the Kung Fu classic death game with the nunchaku. You can almost hear the what? <laughs> I did it very badly, I'm sorry. But um, yeah, the price is quite justified. It is um, priced at yen, 500,000, uh, 528,000, which is around SGD 6,500. Oof. Yeah, but whoa, you should see the thing. Yeah, you should just go and see it. Then you can understand why. So the order taking period has already begun and is slated to end in uh, December 22nd, 2021 on the Good Smile online shop with the release expected to be in June next year, 2022. So if you love Bruce Lee, be like water. Don't resist and get yourself one. Next up, we have Kotobukiya Shizuoka Hobby Show 2021 announcements. I'm sure you guys are very excited. So the physical event was held on the 13th and 14th of May in Shizuoka. But due to the current situation, the event became a traders only event with big names like Bandai and Kotobukiya pulling out from the exhibition due to the greater health risk. Totally understandable. Kotobukiya then posted the products they would be showcasing at the event online via their Facebook and Twitter accounts. So consisting of 10 different product groups like Megami Device, Frame Arms, Frame Arms Girl, uh, JG, SDF and more. If you want to know more, we will be doing an episode just going through the items announced soon. Stay tuned! And that's all I have for this episode. Links for the items discussed will be in the description below. If you like what you see, click like, subscribe and click on the bell icon for notification on future content. And if you have something interesting that you would like us to feature in the next show, let us know in the comments. Bye!